Okay, let's go to the file menu, a new, and then let's uh, click on general templates under new from template. And let's go to spreadsheet solutions tab and double click on the invoice file. And now click in the insert company information here area and type stupendous software Inc and press the enter key then click back in the field and uh, note the message and then let we can retype the message and press alt enter which takes us to the next line and we can type in the address of 100 Main Street and then hold the alt key down and press enter again and type San Francisco and CA 94110 and then scroll to the bottom and click in the insert fine print here and let's type buyer beware no guarantees or is that too truthful and then press the enter key and then click in the insert farewell statement here and let's type please come again and press enter Now let's click Print Preview on the standard toolbar and see the effect and then we can close out of that. Now let's go to File menu and Save As and let's browse to our folder and when we get there, there it is let's select template from the save as type drop list and we'll type stupendous as the file name and click save now let's go to the file menu and close that and now file menu new and click on stupendous.xls now under customer let's uh, enter our name or your name and you can enter the address and phone number And when you've done that, let's click in the first quantity column. Still got the phone number to go, but when we've finished, we'll click in the quantity column and type 1. And then tab across and type hard drive. and Or just click in the cell, however you like. And then we can tab across and type 90 in the unit price and press enter. And then in the second quantity cell, let's type 4 and tab across and type keyboard and then tab across and type 15 and press enter. And then we'll have two copies of Microsoft Word at $350 each. And then we can scroll to the bottom and see the total. How much does the bill come to? There we are. Now we can close that spreadsheet and we don't need to save that. But now let's open Excel Test Exp 4.
once we've got back to where we should be there's our folder we want Excel test exp 4 and let's click on the sheet 1 tab and select C4 to C10 and let's right click on that selection and clear contents and now select B14 to B22 and do the same thing the same easy way by hitting the delete key and now select C4 to C10 and B4 to B22 and let's go to the format menu and cells and on the protection tab Let's clear the locked checkbox and OK. And now go to the Tools menu, pro Protection, and Protect Sheet. Yeah, oh, it's grayed out. So we've got our spreadsheet shared. So let's go to the Tools menu and click on Share Workbook and uncheck the allow changes and OK and now let's oh yes and then we can go to the tools menu protection protect sheet and we can leave those at the defaults and click OK now try entering 90 in cell say A14 and it won't let you let's set, click OK to that message and let's go to the file menu and select save as and from the save as type drop list let's select template and you can see where the default uh, folder is, is that it saves in but let's browse to our regular Excel XP expert folder and we want to change the name to my deposits and save and we then we can close it